Hello everyone, this is Connor Hoffman and I am here once again with another how to build. This time it's on Chaluno, the guardian of the Luna Dial. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Order Matanui Files. This is its one year anniversary. One year ago, on the same week, Order Matanui Files began with a little video called Chaluno, the guardian of the Luna Dial. So, to celebrate, we are here today showing you how to build her. So, Without further ado, let's begin with the legs. Alright, beginning with the legs. These are the parts you'll need. As usual with these how-to builds, please pause the video and gather everything you see here when you see the parts laid out like this. Alright, let's begin with the foot. Begin by taking this dark blue Mata foot and these construction pieces right here. Slide that in like so and take a three long pin stick it in the middle hole and push it all the way in. Now that's going to be loose so let's secure it by taking these two half pin half studs with the cheese slopes on them and sticking them either side with the slope facing down like so until you have the foot and that's it. Moving on to the lower leg it's a very simple construction for this part and you just snap the foot on right in the front. It should click right into place and it should be completely secure. I forgot this little technique with the foot here. You take a little robot claw and you stick it on the piston right here, like so. Next, you take one of these size one shell armor pieces from Hero Factory or CCBS, whichever you prefer, and click it over the foot like so. And it should stay relatively secure, like so. Last but not least, take a uh, take this CCBS bone, put rubber bands around it, like I have here, and click a size 5 CCBS shell over it, like so. Make sure you move the rubber bands out of the way a little bit, so they're not pinching. And then take a 1x2 tile brick and layer it under the rubber bands like so until you get a similar result to this and then go ahead and click it all together and obviously you'll need to the upper legs are mirrored of course and let's move on to the arms. All right, now time for the arms. These are the parts you'll need. This is another mirrored design, so everything here you see will have to be mirrored around the other way for the other arm. Let's begin. Start by taking this piece with the two axles sticking out, and then these two Anika, or not Anika, um, Glatorian neck pieces. Slide those all the way down either side and then cap it off with this other Technic piece, like so. Alright, next we'll take this hand connector and just snap that on one end. That's the end with this uh, washer on it, and that's the end that's going to be the hand. Alrighty, this time we'll flip this around, like so, and stick this on like this. So it sticks in like that. And then uh, take these two pieces, and on the side with the hand, put the black one. And on the other side, put the white one. Like that. And those two big construction masses right there in the middle. Alright, set that down for a minute. Take these three pieces here, and on the inside of this bulged out section, take this uh, Technic piece and layer it in there like that. And on the other side, hold it down with this stud axle with a stud on it. <laughs> Next, uh, slide this all the way down the middle of that arm. And go ahead and set that down. Next, we'll take this Hero Factory shield and this construction here. And slide that all the way down, like so. And on the inside, we'll put this piece, this piece, like so. So it sticks in like that. And then finally this piece snaps over the entire arm like so. 
and that piece just lays down on top of it. And that's the lower arm. And the upper arm, CCBS, click that on there. And for the sword, it attaches right here in the Technic piece. Very nice, and that is how you build Chaluna's arms. Next, we'll move on to the torso, I guess. Now, I don't even think I can remember how to build Choluno's torso all at once, so I'm going to show you in little pieces at a time. Every time I cut, make sure you pause the video and assemble everything you see here. I'll give you close-ups on the way. So, this little part right here, you just take these two constructions here, and then this construction with the cut flex tubes like so. Go ahead and take this Technic piece, slide that in like that, and now, uh, I believe you're going to have to rotate these around and stick those inside like this. So you have something like that. Alright, moving on. Alright, next take these pieces. First we'll assemble this. It's just a, a little Technic construction like so. Uh, I believe it goes on like this where the uh, round hole is facing down on the Anika armor. Slide a stud axle all the way through and add a cheese slope onto the end like so and set that aside. Next we'll take these pieces and stick this going down this way in the front of this Anika lower body and make sure you put these lightsaber rods on in there like so. Uh, next slide this Technic beam all the way down and then using this piece skewer the uh, Anika armor like so and just shove that on all the way down as far as it'll go till you get something like that. Later on this will connect in here like so but we need to attach something on later so go ahead and set both those pieces aside. For the next part you'll need what you see here. Go ahead and take this five long axle or actually I think that's a six long axle. Slide that down put a very useful piece in the front like so set that down. For this one, you'll take this, slide the uh, Glatorian neck all the way down, and then add the heart light on like so. And last but not least, stick the two pieces together like that. And that looks like a piece of com complicated circuitry, doesn't it? Alright, we'll move on to the next piece now. Alright, next go ahead and gather everything here. This is a uh, half stud pin sticking through a a uh, Technic beam with a uh, little Baraki eye on it like that, clipped all the way in. This snaps on like that, right there. And then uh, these two pieces, go ahead and stick those on either end of this Technic construction, like so. And then go ahead and add this right here. And on the other side, stick this three long axle with the stud on the end and the little flat plate on it. Make sure this is a flat plate or there's just nothing there at all. The flat plate looks works better though. And then stick a washer on the end like that. Like that. Moving on. All right, time to assemble three more complicated objects. Go ahead and take these pieces, which is these fancy new Technic pieces. Go ahead and on the top hole, put one of these on each of them like that that so you get that and then take this piece put it put that on the very end hole and on the bottom hole of the other piece like so so you get this construction it'll go on like that and then next you're gonna need this piece this is a five long one of those new five long Technic axles or Technic uh, lift arm pieces, and two very useful pieces and a stud in the middle to fill it in. Take two Hordika neck pieces and stick those on either corner, and then just set that down. And then this you'll just need that for later too, so make sure you assemble that. Okay, now it's time to assemble everything we've built. So let's go ahead and start with these two chunks. Go ahead and stick them together just like this. Everything is going to be a little loose, but it'll all secure in time. No 
Okay, next up we'll take these two chunks, and this literally just sets right in there, like so. This just snaps on the top two blue pins, like that. Okay. Uh, next, we'll take this piece, this whole construction, and that will slide right in those holes like so. Alright, and on the back we'll take one of these very useful pieces. By the way, make sure you gather up all of these pieces I had to lay down on the front here. Take this very useful piece, secure the uh, that whole construction there, just like that. Now on the front we'll take these, all these armor pieces. This ball joint will snap to the ball joint of the, uh, the Hero Factory armor, and it will secure down onto these two blue, or blue lightsaber rods, like so. And then go ahead and take these two Nuva shoulder pieces and stick them like so. Then we'll take this construction and just snap that down over the whole thing like so. Uh, go ahead and add this Anika armor onto the very bottom like that. And last but not least, we'll take this piece and this piece. This needs to set inside the middle like so. Make sure you hold that in there because it's very loose. And then these pieces will literally just combine like so. All in one big click. And that is how you build Chaluno's ridiculously complicated torso. Next we'll do her head. Alright, now for the head, these are the parts you'll need. This is a very simple construction. Just take this uh, Glatorian head piece and one of these very useful pieces and, well, the construction made out of these. Slide this piece down the middle and secure it around the uh, Glatorian head like so. This should be uh, stuck in between the little groove there. And then, obviously, fill it in on the other side with another very useful piece. Alright, go ahead and attach this mask to the top, this Gelu mask. And on the very back, this Scrawl mask should just very simply just clip into place right there. And that is how you build Chaluna's head and uh, hair, I guess. Ice hair. Now we'll do her wings and we'll show, her how, show you how to put her all together. Alrighty, now to build and attach her wings. Basically, it's just these two Gelu blades, these two uh, Technic pieces, a very useful piece, a two long pin, and a scroll shoulder armor piece. Stick that on the very bottom hole of both scroll armor pieces, and then take her torso, and on the two blue pins, go ahead and secure these, like so. And then on the bottom, you're gonna take these pieces, secure them like this, Scrawl armor is going to attach to the black pin down here, and the uh, very useful piece will connect to the cut lightsaber rod piece. And then do that for both sides. And then simply just push the uh, remainder of the uh, cut lightsaber rods all the way down, and you have built her torso and her wings all at once. Next, grab all the limbs and the head. go ahead and secure them. We'll start with the head. It goes right here on the uh, Glatorian neck piece. Both legs go on either side of the Anika waist piece. And both limbs go on either side of her torso. As if that wasn't obvious enough. And that is how you build Chaluno. Alrighty everyone, that is it. That is how you build Chaluno. If you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Up next on how to build, we'll either do Rexus, the Solar Soldier, or the new 2016 updated version of Kanpaku, the Half Ghost Assassin, which will be the first returning subject to how to build ever. So make sure you cast your vote in the comments. If you don't like the selection, make sure you cast your own. Check out my mocks on mock pages, or check out Order of Matanui files and suggest below in the comments. If you like Chaluno and want to do anything with her, use a design of hers, use a uh, 
make your own mock version of her. Make sure you post a video or post it to a website somewhere and link it in the comments. If you post a video, I will link an annotation at the end with the rest of the awesome people. Make sure if you decide to do that, that you uh, post below. And without further ado guys, thanks for watching, have a good day, and see you in the next How to Build.